I think what keeps people from talking is being embarrassed of how you're feeling, thinking that no one will understand. Hi, I'm Louise, and this is my story. Before I watched 13 Reasons Why, I barely told anything about myself. Like, I don't want to be known as the girl that got raped. I just want to be known as Louise. I was scared to talk about it. I felt like no one understood what I was going through because, like, no one's ever told me that they've been through the same thing. It was, it was really tough. I broke down. Um, I stopped being so social. Like, it, it really affected me. I related the most to Jessica's situation in particular because that's pretty much exactly what happened to me. Once I saw that scene, I was like, wow, this is actually how it feels. After watching that last episode, I realized that I should talk about what happened to me um, just so people don't think they're alone. I actually called my sister and was like, hey, I have this video, I should put it up, but I'm really, really scared. But it did help a lot of people, so I'm glad I did. So if you don't know my story, I am a rape victim, survivor, whatever you want to call me. And there's not a day in my life that it doesn't affect. Just talking about it, that alone lifted a weight off my chest. Now I see myself as, you went through something horrible, and you came out on the other side okay. So I'm so proud. People even DM me saying, hey, I've been through the same exact thing. I'm so glad you told me about it. I feel comfortable talking about it because you did to the whole world. Now they, they have someone to talk to, like they can talk to me. It's okay if you're not ready. Some people, it's just not their time yet. But when you are ready, it takes one person to tell, and you'll be okay. Maybe if it's, it's a professional, a parent, a best friend, a sibling, whatever, tell someone, because it makes a huge difference, and you'll get through it. I have. I didn't tell my family or my friends or my teachers, and I kept it to myself because I thought it was my own problem. I'm Riley, and this is my story. I am a freshman at Grand Valley State University. I'm passionate about music and helping other people. Going throughout high school, I was dealing with this very abusive and toxic relationship, being belittled and threatened by the person I trusted most in my life. And I didn't want to live for a good portion of my life. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell my family or my friends or my teachers, and I kept it to myself because I thought it was my own problem. When I first watched 13 Reasons Why, I struggled with a lot of things that Hannah Baker went through within the show, so I found a lot of relevance. Our Dean of Students came to us with this idea for 13 Reasons Why Not. For 13 consecutive days, one person from our school would come over the loudspeaker and share a story of emotional vulnerability of a time they did not feel good enough. As soon as my tape aired, I had people coming up to me in the hallway to share their own stories. A girl who had been abused since elementary school came to the office to finally get help. Then we just saw the progression of compassion. We saw flowers being left in classrooms and in bathrooms, notes on walls saying, you are loved, you're beautiful, you're strong, there's a reason you're here. 
I, I did a lot of healing from this project since my tape first aired. I and mean, I still struggle sometimes with the things that I've dealt with, but now I know that there's resources and I know there's people who I can turn to and I've built a support system that I can go to if I'm having one of those hard days. Finding one single person that you can at least tell your story to gives you power within yourself to finally say, this is okay. And it gives other people power who are listening to you. There is a lot of healing through sharing your story with others.